Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In recent years, the U.S. Navy initiated several programs leveraging autonomous technologies to expand its capabilities and resilience. Among various applications, the integration of unmanned surface vessels marks a strategic initiative. The program provides the Navy with versatile and cost-effective solutions for a range of maritime tasks. The USV leverages cutting-edge sensors, AI, and communication systems for navigation and data collection. Typically ranging from 45 to 300 feet in length, USVs exhibit modular designs to accommodate diverse payloads, including surveillance equipment and electronic warfare systems. This allows easy customization for various missions, from surveillance to mine countermeasures. Propulsion systems vary, with some utilizing electric drives for stealth and endurance. Early on September 18, 2023, the unmanned surface vessel Ranger docked at Fleet Activities Yokosuka in Japan. This visit was part of Integrated Battle Problem 23.2. Ranger was meant to be tested along with other medium and large USVs and advancing manned unmanned teaming in the Indo-Pacific. Together with their allies, including Japan, the U.S. Navy would create warfighting advantages by testing and leveraging the USV capabilities. Prior to its arrival in Japan, Ranger participated in several other exercises. As an autonomous watercraft, technical issues present a great threat reliability and safety are crucial. This is achieved through testing in diverse dynamic environments, such as RIMPAC, the world's largest international exercise ever. This event facilitates the integration of autonomous systems with manned systems, various ships, submarines and aircraft, and effective collaboration and communication between unmanned and manned platforms. In shallow waters, a different hull design is required. Smaller, finer, and faster. In less than one hour, USV Martax Devil Ray T-38 autonomously transits the Florida Straits to West Bank's Bahamas. Maritime Tactical Systems launched this run to evaluate the speed and accuracy capabilities, all while being able to stop to avoid collisions with other boats in the area. While this boat might appear smaller than the USV Ranger, there are many others that are even smaller. These tiny watercraft, such as the ones showcased at the IMX event, highlight the diverse applications of drones at sea.
In the Gulf of Aqaba, the USV Sail Drone Explorer was observed sailing by a Royal Jordanian Navy patrol craft during the international maritime exercise Cutlass Express. IMXCE is the largest multinational maritime training in the Middle East. Navies from around the world converge in the Middle East to enhance partnerships and promote interoperability. Together, they test their latest innovations collectively. Once the USV Sail Drone Explorer was launched into the water, the Jordanian Navy, along with the US Navy, tracked and evaluated the application's performance. On the other hand, the Coast Guard has leveraged the advanced capabilities of in situ's unmanned aircraft system for surveillance operations. Scan Eagle underwent testing and received approval in 2012 aboard the US CGC Stratton. Four years later, the system was permanently installed on a Cutter Stratton to enhance its surveillance capabilities. This unmanned aerial vehicle features digital full motion video, providing the highest ground resolution available. It offers persistent daytime and nighttime intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities in some of the world's most extreme environments. In 2022, Scan Eagle played a pivotal role in drug interdiction missions, contributing to the capture of nearly $1 billion worth of illegal cocaine and marijuana. USVs like the Mantis T-12 provide numerous benefits, allowing the Navy to launch and recover this solution remotely. Thanks to its integrated hydrodynamic and aerodynamic features, the Navy can benefit from higher speeds and superior maneuverability. This feature enables the Navy to perform multiple operations, including maritime patrol, search and rescue, surveillance, mine warfare, naval fleet security, and training. The Common Unmanned Surface Vehicle, or CUSV, is another advanced sea drone technology. In 2020, the CUSV underwent significant demonstrations, showcasing its capabilities during Exercise Citadel Shield Solid Curtain. Primarily designated for anti-terrorism force protection missions, the CUSV could play a pivotal role in safeguarding ports, harbors, and high-value assets. Beyond the water surface, the U.S. employs unmanned underwater vehicles for comprehensive sea mine surveillance. As part of the U.S.-U.K. mine countermeasures exercise, UUV operators skillfully launched and recovered the MK-18 Mod 2 UUV. Okay. 
These autonomous vehicles, equipped with advanced sensing technologies, navigate the depths to detect and neutralize sea mines. The UUVs provide a strategic advantage by accessing areas that may be challenging for manned operations. Testing becomes paramount in ensuring the reliability and effectiveness of these unmanned vehicles. Their deployment and exercises like MCMEX sharpens team skills and knowledge, providing a platform for refining UUV capabilities. In tandem in unmanned underwater vehicles for sea mine surveillance, the U.S. Navy employs Sonoboys for comprehensive underwater monitoring. Sonoboys are floating devices deployed from aircraft designed to detect and identify underwater sounds. They aid in anti-submarine warfare and underwater surveillance. These compact devices contain hydrophones to pick up acoustic signals, transmitting valuable data to naval operators. Sonobuoys play a crucial role in enhancing maritime security by providing real-time underwater intelligence. During anti-submarine warfare and tactical recovery of aircraft and personnel training, Winter Fury 22, a Sonobuoy, was deployed. Collaborating with the Helicopter Strike Maritime Weapons School Pacific, Marine Aircraft Group 39 developed tactics for mobilizing the Sonoboys. The operations evaluated the Winter Fury 22 speed and range in supporting the Navy's anti-submarine warfare mission. Sonoboy operations start with Marines transferring multiple Sonoboys to HMLA and HMLA helicopters. In a distant expanse of the open sea, helicopters fly high above, with only the horizon in view. The mission involves strategic positioning and upon reaching the designated location, Marines manually deploy sonoboys, one by one at varying distances. These exercises equip Marines with realistic, relevant training, ensuring readiness to respond decisively to global crises in highly contested maritime environments. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.